Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Yogi Dave's Hobby Corner. This one is on the Napoleonic British Decree uh, Red Jackets. Right and second. As I said, um, this is just a little video on how I did the Napoleonic Red Jackets, the, the Red Coats, um, on my Napoleonic figures. I'm going to do a long video on um, the whole process that I went through with them, but this is just a lot of one. It's quite a good one, I think. Quite a good way to get faded red, especially if you're doing Napoleonics, because obviously they're fighting in a period where the red dye would dra would run uh, and it gets sun damaged and stuff. So um, if you have a look at um, I guess the Napoleon in Egypt, um, one of his units, the because of how red it was, um, or how how sunny it was, the red actually went pink. So you know, didn't quite do that, but I did actually do that in um, my line one guys. The way I did them, because I did them differently. Uh, before, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Right, this is the fist on red, so that's the base coat that I used to paint the figures. Um, obviously, you're about to see a change in what figure that I used, so um, a lot of the time I was recording this, you know, the, the camera would actually, um, it would blurb. It would go blurry because my hands were in the way, so I, I had to. Um, you know, any video that I've used, and this is the best ones that I've got. So um, you just go over all this um, with the, the red. Um, first, what I did was I put a uh, Graxel shade uh, over the white undercoat um, in order to be able to bring out all the the detail, so you don't have to go over much detail um, with the paint and um, some of the figures I've used um, actually the vast majority of figures that you're going to see um, are but actually airbrushed um, because I decided that I'd do all 92 red coats that I had to do at the same time <laughs> which you know sometimes not the best idea but you know I did it uh, and I'm walking through them right now um, so once the red was dried um, the base color was dried use Coelia green shade to go over the, the tunics a um, bit of an unusual color um, for most people would think for a red but red really doesn't shade over itself um, so you've got to use either a, a complementary color which Coelia green shade is I use paint rack if you look at the um, episode I did on paint rack um, it's got the, the colour um, bit where you can ch check the complementary colours and Coelho Green Shade was actually when I, I put my fist on red in it actually had Coelho Green Shade so um, right. so this is well Brown the Red uh, was that Red and Evil Sun Scarlet um, so um, Wise Dacker Red and Wild Red Red were used for the highlights and what I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet for is to go over um, the bits that have been highlighted but um, I want to be a bit darker um, so obviously um, what I've done with the Wise Dacker Red and the Evil Sun Scarlet the, the Wild Red Red obviously is to um, I highlight it out so it looks sun damaged but then I want the evil sun scarlet to make it like all the the, the, the shadows a little, a little less um, sun damaged so this is me putting on the um, evil sun scarlet to one of the figures now you can see the big 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 pile of um, the Basically, the vast majority of my, my line infantry and my Highlanders, I will be doing a tartan 
and uh, uh, Caledonian Highlander version um, of the tartan at some point. This is me applying the Wild Rider Red. Um, unfortunately, I actually didn't get a video of me putting the Evil Sun Scarlet in, but this is to make it look weather damaged, like the, the, um, the uniforms to look sun bleached. Um, and the um, Evil Sun Scarlet we use, used to, in like the folds of the, the jackets that weren't um, recessed. So the uh, clearly a green shade had recessed in, you know, so on this one there's like these folds. We want them to be darker. Um, and you don't want too much um, of the sun damage to come through. So, um, yeah, this is them done. Um, so, there was quite a few of them. <laughs> um, and now I'm working on the detail work and on the trousers and the kilts. So, that's it. Short, sweet. Hope you enjoy. Um, Basically, if you enjoy this episode, like, share, subscribe. If you're liking the channel, share it with your friends. Um, if you listen to the podcast and you're enjoying it, share it with your friends. <laughs> Comment on it, you know, rate it. Um, if, if you've got anything to say, comment. Happy to listen to constructive criticism advice, whatever, um, but, you know, I'll ignore the snotty shit and all the rest of the, the bad comments that you sometimes get from people. Um, right now, uh, we're still in the period where Captain Kelsey's, uh, Lieutenant Kelsey's, um, is on raffle. Um, if you watch this later on, um, Go on my coffee account, and on the coffee account at the side, there's the status, and it'll tell you what or above it's where you donate. To this is how you enter the raffles. Um, donate the three pounds. Um, it'll tell you what the current raffle is, and if you want to um, get involved in it. Right now, um, I'm still in the middle of doing the. Diorama base for the Napoleonic raffle. So, um, as and when I'm doing that, I'm going to do how I did the videos. Um, I think that's it. So, I'm going to say good day. Happy holiday.